Good afternoon and welcome back. My name is Katie. If you're new to my channel, this is Louisiana Cooking and Living. And I'll show you my shirt today with my Magnolia. This is from Sweet Baton Rouge. I'm not sure if you've ever heard of them. Um, just a little bit of my Louisiana in there today. Um, so we're in the middle of soup season, right? Because we're so excited about this fall weather and the cooler temperatures and snuggling up with a bowl of soup. So tonight we are making Zupa Toscana. Um, I have my bacon already cooking in my, ooh, look, that was a good point, my Dutch oven back here on the stove. I have five slices of bacon, thick cut bacon that I have in there, just simmering, rendering out the bacon fat, making them a little crispy to sprinkle on our soup at the end. That's exciting. And, um, cause bacon, everything's better with bacon, right? And, uh, we're going to get our potatoes chopped up. We're going to need three medium sized potatoes. We're going to need a pound of, um, Italian sausage. We're going to need uh, about a half of an onion chopped and three, four, five, six, seven cloves of garlic, however many you think you need. Some chicken broth and some whipping cream. And typically this recipe will call for um, kale, but we are going to be using spinach today. We and my family don't eat kale. It's kind of bitter. So I just throw some spinach there at the end just to barely soften it. I don't want it to be like super wet and wilty and everything. So we have our um, our bacon cooking in our pot and we're going to get our vegetables chopped up and then we'll move over to the stove and get that going. And while the soup is going to be cooking, we are going to make some three, four, I don't know how many cheeses I have, garlic bread that my son wanted to go with this. He likes to dip it in the soup. So we're going to get that going also. So hope you enjoy this and you try this recipe out too. And let's get started. All right, so here I have my garlic cloves. I'm gonna use my garlic press to smash those into the pot. I'm gonna chop my onion here. Just dice it as fine as your family likes. Um, there's a lady I watched on YouTube. I think her channel's called Views on the Road. She's a Hispanic lady, I think Mexican, and she makes a lot of Mexican food. And she always says, make it comfortable for your family. So, if you like fine dice, make it fine. If you like it chunkier, make it chunkier. That's us make, using the spinach instead of the kale. So, I have my potatoes washed here. And I'm going to leave the skin on. I think I'm going to like that texture. And the skin is good for you. They are washed. So, I'm going to give these a good dice also. Again, whatever size your family wants. Just try to make them all uniform so that they cook at the same rate. So we'll get all this done and then we'll move over to the stove and finish this soup up because it doesn't take long to come together. All right, so we browned our bacon and pulled that off and then I threw my Italian sausage in the pot to brown it. And I'm using my little meat chopper here to break it up into smaller pieces and we'll get this browned and we'll pull it out and then we'll saute our onions and garlic. You can um, pull your grease out of here if you want and then use like an olive oil to saute your vegetables but I'm just going to leave my bacon grease in here for that sauteing process. And we're just looking to get this brown because it is going to cook in the soup. If it's not quite cooked all the way, it will finish cooking. All right, we'll pull it out into a paper towel. It's those pasta bowls I was telling y'all about. Really convenient for everything. Now I'm using a mild Italian sausage here. You could use the hot, you could use the sweet. We, um, I don't mind using the hot because I am going to add red pepper flakes to this because we do like it a little spicy, but we're not fond of the sweet Italian. It has a lot more of the caraway seeds in it. It has that licorice taste to it and we just don't prefer that. So whatever Italian sausage I want to use. All right.
right, we're going to use my garlic press and crush my garlic. You could chop it if you like, if you didn't have one of these. As always, any of the equipment I use that I really like, I leave a link in the description box if you want to check it out. We get all the garlic. All right, we're just going to use a quick saute. And then we're going to throw our potatoes in. Okay. Find a little garlic clove hiding in the potatoes. Throw that in there too. All right, this is my cut up potatoes. I'll just throw these in. I like it when a soup is just this easy that you just dump and go. I'm gonna throw my Italian sausage back in. I had on paper towels to drain any of the excess grease that might drip off of that. Some salt and pepper. I got my Red and Real salt here. Potatoes need quite a bit of salt. Pepper. And then my home canned chicken stock. I hope y'all are going to try this adventure and make your own chicken stock. With it's soup season, you're going to be using a lot of stock. I can get it open. There we go. Instead of opening another jar, I'm going to just put some water in here and swish it around. I was watching Becky on H Acre Homestead yesterday, and she was uh, canning her chicken broth, and she said that she'd never done it before and thought it was genius to can in pints also the stock because you don't always need a quart. And I would never thought about that either, but that's what I'm going to do going forward because there's times when you need less than a full quart. All right, I'm going to add some red, crushed red pepper flakes in here. And we'll put the lid on this and let it cook, and then we'll get the garlic bread going while we are letting this cook. Okay, at Costco, it had the Death Star on the tag. I think that's what it's called. So I don't know if they're going to continue carrying it. So if you want to get this, you need to get there fast. So they have this six pack of organic baguettes, par-baked baguettes, non-GMO, organic, par-baked. They are delicious. So I bought two of these six packs. I think they're like $6.99. Yeah, there's six in here. They heat on 400 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes and they are delicious. Um, anyway, I put, these say not suitable for the freezer. Let's see what it says. Hmm. I don't remember where I read it, but I did a test run and I threw one of these loaves in the freezer and then about a week later pulled it out and baked it and it was perfect. So I bought two of these six packs to put in my freezer so that I can have this for a while. Um, but tonight what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take one of the loaves from my other pack I had, and I'm going to bake this like it says by the instructions, and then I'm going to cut it in half. It will uh, rise a little bit, and we'll cut it in half, and we're going to make the garlic cheese bread. So our bread is baked up, and we're going to get our garlic butter together. I have some cheddar, some mozzarella, 
some provolone, and then I'm going to shred up. I get this at Costco, this Parmigiano Reggiano. It's actually from Italy, and I'm going to grate some of this also. Um, if you buy cheese that's pre-grated, now we all do it because it's a convenience item. It has cellulose in there, so it doesn't all stick together, and cellulose is actually a wood pulp. So when you can, try to buy cheese in the block and grate it yourself. Something else I've done with this Parmesan is throw it through my freeze dryer, and then I have like shelf stable sprinkle on Parmesan cheese, like you get in the green can at the grocery store. So we'll get some of this grated up. I have some butter in my bowl. It even has the rind on it from the big wheel of Parmesan. My husband usually does all my cheese grating for me and he's not here. I guess that's enough. All right, so I have my butter in the bowl. I don't know how much cheese I'm gonna need of all this, so I just kind of grated some. I'm gonna throw some chives in here. Just get these chives from Walmart, these organic ones. Chives are super hard to grow for me. I'm not sure what the deal is, but every time I planted them, they have not done well. Throw a little bit of salt in here. If you're using salted butter, of course, don't do that. And this is the freeze-dried garlic powder that I've made. I might use all that. I don't have much left in that jar, so we'll just use it all. Let me give this a mix before I start adding the cheeses in. The soup, we're just going to cook it until the potatoes are fork tender. That's the only thing that we're really cook it at four, except for maybe to get the flavors married together. All right, so here's my butter. Now I'm just going to start adding some of these cheeses in here. I'm going to go with like equal amounts of each, stir them in, and then see if I need more. And then, of course, we'll top our soup with some of the Parmesan, too. I think I'm going to leave it like this and then sprinkle a little bit more cheese on the bread itself. It's pretty stiff. All right, we're going to slice this baguette in half. It's still warm from the oven. going to show you it's all it's crusty on the top and then it's so super soft inside it's so good all right we'll spread this butter on My butter is just room temperature softened. I didn't want to melt it because I didn't want to put the cheese in the, mix it into the melted butter. And it's, when it hits this hot bread, it's spreading pretty good. Just be careful not to tear up your bread. All right. I think I'm just going to do some of this provolone and then some of this parm. I'll put this back in the oven and get this cheese all melty and toasty and then we'll check on the soup. Okay, so our potatoes are fork tender. This took 20 minutes maybe. And we're going to add some cream. Depends on how you like it, of course. I'm going to add about half a cup, I think. Give this a stir. We'll see. That looks good. All right, and like I said, last minute, we're just going to add some spinach. I'm 
and I'm just going to grab my good handful here, maybe a little bit more. Give this a stir. And our soup is done. You have your meat, your starch, your vegetable, some good bone broth to, that's good for your body. This is just a good, healthy fall meal for you to try. Very easy to make, all in one pot. I think our bread is ready. I'm going to pull that out of the oven. There we go. All right, we're going to serve it up and give it a taste test. All right, so here's our soup in the bowl. I'm going to top it with some of the bacon, crispy bacon. And I left the cheeses here so everybody can decide. I'm going to do some Parmesan. All right, and I'm going to slice up this bread. Gonna give this a taste test. I think I'm gonna try this bread dipped in here first. It's hot. Mmm. The garlic on there, so good. I'm crazy about garlic, I know that. This bowl is even hot. I love these pasta bowls. I told you about this last time. I'll leave a link in the description box because they are so good. They are so useful in so many ways. I got a little bit of the potato, a little bit of the sausage, get some of that Parmesan stuck there, some spinach. Blow this off. Mmm. So good. I know that everybody in the, every, <clears throat> all around the country have different temperatures right now. And for us, this fall weather is the high today, I don't think, got to 70. So we're in the 60s today, and that's considered fall weather for us because we're not going to have that for very long. I hope y'all give this recipe a try. I'm super excited about these soups coming up because, like I said, that just means our temperatures are cooling off. And um, I am really excited, too. I think this Saturday I'm going to be able to get out there. I usually go out to my garden and chickens in the morning when I first get up, and then I get in the shower and get ready for the day. So I can't really video out there if I'm not presentable. So this Saturday, I think I'm going to have the opportunity to just get my shower first thing in the morning and then go out to the garden, and we will take a peek at what's going on out there for the fall. I'm so excited about some things out there. Um, anyway, I just, I can't wait to show you guys. And um, so that video, this video, to, you're seeing this today, a Thursday, if you're watching it when it first comes out, and that will be my Monday video, The Garden. So um, can't wait to see you again, and I hope to see you next time. And if you want to follow along, just hit subscribe and share this with all your friends. Thanks for watching.